In this video, I will be giving you a brief overview of the derivative. So, in calculus, the derivative is often associated with the slope of a given function. So in algebra, we learn that the slope is the change in y over the change in x. And the same way in calculus, this is equal to dy over dx, where dy is the change in y, and dx is the change in x. And if we're given a function, we can also write the derivative as f prime x. That is, f prime x is the slope or the derivative of f of x. So in algebra, we, are, we were normally given a line, and we were asked the slope. And when we did that, we got a resulting number, like negative 2, 3, or 4. But in calculus, when we take the derivative of a more complicated function than a line, for example, a parabola or exponential function, we actually get another function out of it. So let's say I give you y equals x squared, and let's say I tell you that the derivative of y equals x squared, or the slope of this function, is 2x. And it looks kind of weird because somehow this line is the slope of this parabola and it may seem confusing, may seem, may seem confusing but uh, let me clarify. So if we take any x coordinate greater than zero we see that the corresponding y coordinate on this graph is positive, right? Like if we take one we see that dy dx equals two, right? And if we come over here and we use that same region meaning x is greater than zero we note that the slope it's increasing. If we take, if you see the slope is increasing, these are positive slopes, not negative, positive slopes. So, and in the same way, if we take x coordinate less than zero on this graph, we see that the y coordinate is negative. In the same region here, we see that the the function is decreasing. Negative slopes, the slope is decreasing and a negative. So, what we notice is that there's some connection between. The, y, the, the sign of the y coordinate at a given x coordinate and the sign of the slope of, this, of the x coordinate. And this kind of makes sense because this function is the derivative of this. That means this is the slope. And we can further prove this by picking a point. Let's say we take the point x equals 2. So at x equals 2, this function is telling you that dy dx equals 4, right? If you plug in 2. And that means that this tells us that at the x coordinate 2 on this graph, the slope is 4. Now, does that make sense? If we, if we uh, go, if we draw a dashed line up to the point, and we draw a tangent line to that, we see that it is about 4 because it's pretty steep, right? And in the same way, let's say we pick the point negative 2, and this graph says that at negative 2, the slope is right here, or negative 4. And it's so because negative two times negative four, so we're saying dy dx is negative four. Or that at the point negative two on this graph, the slope is negative four. And if we draw a dash line up here, we see the slope is in fact negative, and it is in fact steep. So it does make sense that it can be negative four. So what we learned just now is that this function will give you the slope at any point in this function and that makes and that means that this function is really the derivative of that or the slope of that meaning that if you take any if you give me any point like x equals 3 x equals 4 x equals 5 i will be able to tell you the slope at that point on this graph meaning that for y equals x squared you give me any point i can shove it in 2x i can shove it in dy dx equals 2x and find the slope of this graph and what that mean and what that is in calculus is the instantaneous slope at a given point so the derivative of a function will give you the instantaneous slope at any given x coordinate or point on the graph thank you guys uh, please comment and subscribe below